Ben from R&B Reptiles back at it again. We're gonna give you guys the update of the two clutches that you guys have been asking for. It's the Batman clutch and the Super Lori clutch. So stay tuned. I love this time of year. It is, uh, we're pairing a bunch of stuff, but this girl just came back online. So little tip, what we've heard, and this is maybe, I don't know if it's a pro tip or not, but if you feed a snake 20 good meals, they should have put on enough weight to start breeding again. Now we also give these guys, you know, a time difference so that they can wait a certain amount of time as well, but um, making sure that they eat at least 20 the right size rats for us um, is what we kind of do. It's one of those tips. So this is a Firefly Orange Dream and she's beautiful and she has just come back online and we're debating on what to breed her to. So comment down below, hit us, give us a little thumbs up there and the notification bell so you know when we're posting videos, but let us know what you think we should pair her to. I know you guys are gonna have to look back to see what we're, we're working with males wise, but she's beautiful. Let's get into it. I'm gonna go through the Batman clutch and we'll show you kind of what we got and uh, maybe we didn't call everything right in the egg. It's kind of hard sometimes, but once they come all the way out and then they shed, you can usually tell a lot more what we got going on. So um, let me grab the first one. So this is the only boy in the clutch and this is a Firefly spot nose. You can see how the head stamp is all crazy and uh, the pattern here, it's super dark, and we got the orangish a little bit there, and how bright the yellow is. So it's super dark in between, and you got that blushed out head. Obviously it's spot nose, and we think it's the fire pastel. So, nice looking boy. It's gonna be fun. This will be up for sale once he gets all of his meals in him. Okay, this next little girl, since they're all girls, is a spot nose fire clown. She is beautiful. Um, I also want to mention that all of these are going to be het, uh, 66 percent het clown, 50 percent het lavender albino pied if they're not a visual clown. So this is a spot nose clown and fire. See these little orange spots? I mean, just crazy. Beautiful, beautiful girl. This one will be staying here, <laughs> of course. Um, so, beautiful. Next we have this little girl and uh, called right in the egg. This is a fire spot nose. And you can tell, beautiful head stamp there. Looks just like the dad. So this is gonna be a 66% Het Clown, 50% Het Lavender Albino, 50% Het Pied. But it's a girl, and we're excited about that, so probably a keeper for us. It's hard to, to sell anything that's uh, recessive, especially with this many jeans in it. So this little girl, the next one, is a little confusing. So this is a fire for sure. But I don't think it's spot nose and it doesn't show anything else. Um, so that means that it just has these really weird pattern. I mean, it's really hard to say. Kind of strange. So if you guys um, can give us a little bit of uh, advice, maybe comment down below, let us know what you think. But of course it's 66% Het Clown, 50% Het Pied and 50% Het Lavender Albino. So lots of things that could be there. And um, yeah, a real strange one for us, but looks good. It's a cool girl. So sometimes guys, you see something in the egg and it looks awesome and you call it out, especially me. Um, I'm notorious for it, calling it out. And then when it comes out of the egg, you're like, I don't think so, I don't know. And then when it sheds, you, you start to really realize what's going on. So this is a Pastel leopard fire spot nose, but no clown. So it's not the Batman, unfortunately, with all the other craziness. 
Um, we thought it was clown. I mean, look at that head. And we saw some of this here, and it was like all tight. But then once it came out, we realized it's not a clown. It is close, but it's not a clown. It's a beautiful, beautiful girl. And we're definitely keeping her, but it's a Firefly Spot Nose Leopard. 66% Het Clown, 50% Het Lavender Albino, 50% Het Pied. So, long odds, beautiful snake, unfortunately not the Batman. I know. We were really excited, but that's just kind of how it goes. So, And that's that clutch. Let me grab the Lori clutch. So the Super Lori clutch, they all came out of the egg. They all shed. We're going to update you on them. Um, we're going to go here first. So I'm going to go across the line a little bit. And um, we're doing these three bananas. Now these are all males. All of our bananas that came out were males. And all the non-bananas were females. So that was unfortunate, but still cool. So this, we think, is an Enchi banana. Um, no lorry. We thought it was a lorry in the beginning, but uh, it's super orange, And but it's not as dark in between here. We don't get the dorsal striping um, that you would with a lorry. Uh, so we think this is an Enchi banana. Still, it's cool. And then this one here, Ryan and I are both back and forth on, and you know, if you guys can give us a little bit of your advice in the comments down below, we would enjoy that. I think this is a pastel banana lorry. Um, I don't see Enchi in this, and I think that the, obviously it's pastel banana, but I think that there's something else there, and I think it has to be the lorry, just based on a couple things. This uh, alien head's being connected here a little bit, and how dark it is in between the uh, patterns. Ryan, um, when we first got these out of the clutch, he was saying that, or out of the eggs, he was saying that he didn't think this had Lori, but then we just couldn't figure out what the deal was or why it would look this way. So I'm calling it as a pastel banana Lori. And, uh, you know, we'll have to keep an eye on that one as it colors up. And then the last one of these three that are just going to keep on trying to run out of here would be this boy here, which I think is a pastel ng banana uh, pastel ng banana lorry so this one's a bit more typical of what you would see in the lorry um, but also very orange and uh, obviously the pastel how bright this stuff is here and I'm starting to think maybe it was the wrong move to pull so many snakes out at the same time <laughs> so because they're all running all over the place but uh Beautiful, beautiful male. Uh, we will be selling all these males. And, um, but this one's really cool. So let me get the other ones out. So two of the females that I'm gonna show you first are these lorries. We thought that they were super lorries. We were like, oh, 100%, they're super lorries. But once they came out and they colored up, even just like the second day out of the egg, uh, Ryan and I definitely were like, oh yeah, those aren't super lorries. Um, I think somebody actually called it in one of the comments that one of them didn't look super lorry, uh, and they were right. So this is a pastel lorry, and she's really pretty. You can see these connected alien heads, how gray-ish she is, the head pattern, dorsal stripe, very cool looking. And then next to this one is a pastel Enchi Lori. So you can see how clean the head is. You get a little bit of blushing in here. And this pattern is just cleaned up a lot. There's the granulation that you see a bit of in the regular pastel Lori is uh, cleaned up. And so this snake is just beautiful. And yes, we'll be keeping this one Probably this one, we'll see how it goes. It's hard to let go of any Lori stuff, but, um, so let me grab the other. So, um, since we wanted to really give you guys the update, we looked at the ones that shed out. This one has not shed out yet. This is the Super Lori female. So you can see a lot of this beautiful pattern, super silver looking black. Um, 
she'll color up a bit still, but this, you know, the striping, the crazy pattern, beautiful, beautiful animal. Um, she still has to shut out though. She's probably any time now gonna shut out, um, but beautiful animal. And this is the update on the world's first super lorry. So this is the pastel banana super lorry. And you can see, if you can get in here, you can see some of that pattern. I'll try to hold her still, or him still, it's a boy. So it's crazy pattern. I don't know if you can tell how yellow it is, but um, just amazing. We're so pleased how this um, is turning out. So uh, maybe I'm not in the light great, but yeah, unbelievable. So world's first pastel banana super lorry. And um, yeah, really excited about this one. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, exciting clutch updates. We have more clutches coming. We're cutting like once a week almost, I feel like, and um, just some awesome stuff. Hopefully you guys saw us at the St. Louis show. Uh, it was just me there, I know, but it was awesome. Um, this video is actually coming out after the show, but I'm filming it before the show. So this boy we're bringing to the show, and this is a GHI Mojave Arroyo. And he is just so hard to... I don't know if we want to get rid of him. Um, we might just bring him to show him off. He's beautiful. And he's growing like a weed. He's thick. Uh, if this was Matt Cleavers, he would be breeding him right now. But it's a little on the small side for us. But man, beautiful, beautiful animal. Um, so thank you guys so much again. Please hit that subscribe button and the like button. And uh, make sure you watch Herp House Rock. Comment down below. Let us know what we are doing uh, right or wrong or indifferent or just comment to let us know that you're having fun watching us. We appreciate it guys and we hope to uh, see you at the next go round. See ya. So this is a spot nose obviously, leopard pastel. Is there anything else in that? Oh yeah, we think that's fire too, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right guys, so the super pastel clutch, I'm gonna give you the update. They all came out of the egg, they all shed. Uh, the super lorry. What did I say, super pastel? pastel. <laughs> don't believe me guys, I really don't know what I'm talking about, apparently. 